hanging out. Oh my oh, yeah. god. Oh, Car people love committing crimes. From street takeovers to installing illegal parts to sometimes running from the cops. But you know who hates car crimes? The police. Today we brought in real highway patrol officers to react to some of the most illegal car activities ever caught on tape and to tell us how much trouble you could get in for doing this stuff. Might be helpful. This is real mechanic stuff. All right, so we got a daytime takeover. They call it swinging. Swinging, yes. Yeah. Swinging and spinning. Hanging out. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what are these guys doing? Exactly. So it's it's a sideshow, right? Okay. It's just showing off their cars, mm -hmm. showing people how cool they are. You can see how the how close the crowd is. Yeah. And they're spinning, and it's kind of like they don't really have control because mm -hmm. they're not trained. No, exactly. How often it's, do these takeovers happen? It's huge. So, what the world needs to know: which crimes are being committed in this clip? A reckless driving, for one. Exhibition of speed. You can't watch those events anymore, so they made that too a crime now. You know, and of course, then we look for other things like expired registrations, mm -hmm. broken windshields, illegal modifications. Oh. That's a big one. Who would do that? It'll cost you some money. <laughs> that would be, be crazy. <laughs> you shouldn't go in there. <laughs> Next clip! Illegal takeovers and sideshows are infamous for being hot spots of violence and personal injury. So officers need to be prepared when dealing with them. Let's take a look at what can go wrong when law enforcement intervenes. Own officer. Yeah. Stuck in the middle of it, and they just keep on going. You can't roll in there like that. They don't. They don't disperse with one unit with lights. They don't disperse with two units with lights. I've had this happen to me. Really? Oh, absolutely. And I've had people jump on my cars and, really? and things of that nature. Oh my God! Did they make fun of you when you got back to oh, the of course, station? Of course. <laughs> what should this officer have done in the situation? Notify his. Like hung back. Hung back. Be a good witness and get some help. Crime count. What crimes are being committed in this clip? Obviously, reckless driving. Yup. Is that trespassing? Potential Same. trespass. People just watching. You, you, you can get cited for that. Hey, you are who you hang out with. Kids, <laughs> right. all right? You may think that Billy's cool because he likes to break the law. Guess what? It's not freaking cool. You know what's cool? School. When Tokyo Drift came out in 2006, Highway Patrol noticed an uptick in street takeovers and illegal drifting. So the city of Los Angeles established a massive joint task force consisting of hundreds of officers from the California Highway Patrol, the LAPD, and LA County's Sheriff Department. So let's see what happens when the police combine their resources and raid a street takeover. Is that a C8? Man, he's over there spinning a C8. <laughs> Where'd they get their money? So they block the street. Yeah, so all those people, everybody, everybody at this, I think I was there. Everybody there is getting getting a citation for being there. So we'll block all those vehicles in. Oh, really? Yeah, all those cars are getting towed. Really? Oh, that's so much money for the city. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of organization, I imagine, has to happen for a successful raid. What are the steps that have to be taken in order to make that happen? It's organized crime. They broadcast it out. We pick up on the chatter. Mm -hmm. We'll deploy in response to it. Yeah. So it's all one big swift maneuver because they've already trapped themselves into one. It is. One and, and it's not just one car that we roll really deep. Mm. Rolling deep. Rolling deep. <laughs> <laughs> But intersections aren't the only streets that exhibitionists take over, and cars aren't the only vehicles that the cops have to deal with. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> That's just annoying. 2023 expressway takeover. And he recorded it, because I was there, right? Oh, ah, look at what I'm doing, I'm so cool. Hey, we took over the highway with bicycles. What do you do in this situation? Oh, man. I mean, this is so tough, right? Like, what I would do, uh -huh. if I showed up to this, I would get on my loudspeaker and be like, why? <laughs> like, what is the point of this? Why are we doing this? Why are you doing this? Last time I checked, there's no designated bicycle lane on the freeway. So. No, there's not. 
How is this different though from dealing with like just a normal street takeover or is it the same? A bicycle situation where they're going on the freeway, it'd be the same thing like pedestrians going on the freeway when they do that, when they protest. I was about to ask that, okay. It'd be the exact same thing. So you just want to get them off and get them off the freeway. This is pretty juvenile, but yes. what are the list of crimes? Maybe disrupting the flow of traffic. What is that ticket? Like you've got an infraction going on. You get an infraction, but you're not getting arrested. No. Your, your bike's not getting impounded. No. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Not all crimes are treated the same by the justice system. In most states, there are three different types of criminal offenses categorized by how much jail time you can expect. Infractions like speeding tickets require no time in jail. Misdemeanors typically carry less than a year in jail. And if you commit a felony, you can expect to be incarcerated for much longer. But. There is another layer of criminal offenses. Crimes against the state of California will typically allow you to serve 40 to 50% of your sentence out on probation. But if you commit a federal offense, you're gonna serve about 90% of time in prison at a location of the government's choosing. They could send you to Ohio if they want. Let's see what type of hard time this guy's looking at. I love how all of these are Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> this place is insane. Yeah, they just, uh, they got confused. You, you, you see people get confused too on the freeway. They'll well, get confused, they'll enter the freeway going the wrong way. Yeah, that's, I, I was about to say, maybe yeah. they came down. Uh, I think he went to on the exit and then pulled a U and now just, he's trying to do another U onto the freeway. <laughs> It's, it's one of those classic things, I think, where people, when they get lost, they freeze up and they don't know uh -huh. what to do. Yeah. What do yeah. you do with this? I would, uh, Just say. <laughs> I would, I would probably take their license and do a reeval with the DMV. Crime breakdown. What crimes are being committed in this clip? Driving the wrong way on the freeway. Would that be a misdemeanor or a felony? Just a misdemeanor. If you did this intentionally, uh -huh. it could definitely be a felony. Going the wrong way on the freeway is... Absolutely. As long as it's on purpose. It's a felony. Dude, that's insane. Can you imagine yeah. going to jail for that? And people are like, what are you in for? What the wrong Going way? the wrong way on the freeway. Intentionally. Yeah. Whoa, you can be the leader of the gang. Yeah. <laughs> While organized crime and impromptu street takeovers are generally frowned upon by car enthusiasts, drifting has a different reputation. Let's see if this street drifting video is any less illegal than the last few videos. All right, we're in the middle of the night. There's a guy on the side of the street. He's got a roll cage. He's, it's a full on drift car, yeah. right? Oh, oh yeah. there's a person there. You know what? You know what the bummer is, is that he posts this video it's, and you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't do anything about it. Really? Unless it rises to the uh, the level of a felony. If it's just reckless driving, you should be able to go after him. Interesting. And say, hey, you know, you're 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 doing this recklessly, or you're doing this, you know, deliberate. But if you have a felony where there's somebody got gets hurt, mm -hmm. then that's different. Okay. But if it's you know a misdemeanor, it has to be witnessed live. You know, you upload it. There's mm -hmm. so many things that could have happened in between that time. Right. So it's hard to go after. Like anybody. editing or CGI. Exactly. They're Instagramming live. Mm -hmm. I'm witnessing that live, actually. Oh. So that is that is different. If this was here, definitely reckless driving. Reckless driving. Exhibitionist speed. If you guys didn't want us to commit crimes, then why do you name them such cool stuff? <laughs> All right, suppose you're out there, you're tearing up the streets, you're doing crimes with varying degrees of cool names, you're having a laugh, you're having a blast, and you get spotted by the fuzz. Do you hate being called that? I don't really care. Okay, yeah, we don't even care, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> this next video of a daring escape attempt was uploaded by the actual biker who committed the crime. Let's see what happens. Watch your crimes with a cop. Motorcycles are tricky. Tricky. How much harder is it to chase motorcycles? I don't even try. Really? Mm -hmm. Tried once and I lost. <laughs> dude, I just met, especially like a dirt bike or something. It's so tough. easy to get around. Oh, damn, it's got a helicopter on it. So if he oh, knows man. the police. He knows they're after him. He yeah. knows the police are after him. This this he took a tunnel. Oh, he no, parked it. Yeah. He parked it under the pass. Yeah. Apparently in this situation, he ducked under an overpass, mm -hmm. waited it out, and just like went about his night. That's yeah. the, the weakness of the helicopter, yeah. right? You can't see him under bridges mm -hmm. and parking structures. I think my biggest concern here is his disregard for his own safety. Right. Driving at that speed. Yeah. Yeah, what's wrong, dude? What's going on? We need to get a coffee, talk it out. 
Why do you not value your life? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this guy was going a million miles an hour. Uh, if you pulled him over, what crimes do you think he'd be charged with? Definitely reckless driving, exhibition of speed, and then, you know, just to be nitpicky because mm -hmm. he was pissing me off. Right. Anything that's wrong with this motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Today's sponsor, Bespoke Post, is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. The best part, it's totally free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime you want. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the United States. Every month, Bespoke Post has all kinds of cool new things like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more. Each box of awesome is personalized based on a fun quiz that you fill out and it has around $70 worth of stuff inside, but you only pay a fraction of that. Plus, before your box ships, you can get a preview of what's inside of it so you can decide what you want to keep or what you want to swap out or just swap for a different box. You only pay for what you really want. So we got us a really cool lunch container. You can fit a big sandwich in there. Wow stainless steel utensil set for camping and stuff. We have an eco-friendly lunch bag, and then pop it in your little lunch bag, close it up, and you're on your way. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link below or enter mechanic20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash mechanic20. Let's take a look at another biker who uploaded his own illegal street takeover. Is that a ramp? Oh, yeah. oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, I mean, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Coming back up. <laughs> so is doing a wheelie in an Indo like that, yeah. like illegal? It's an exhibition of speed. <laughs> showing off for somebody else. Uh, when he's yeah. on a bike, you can't even be on the street anyway, but yeah, that's, uh, and they're, they're gonna load that thing into the van and get out of there. Oh, cause that's a dirt bike. That's not even like yeah. a, a street bike. Interesting. So there's a lot more going on here. Oh besides yeah. Besides setting up a ramp and jumping a really yeah. steep hill. So this is your classic, I show up, mm -hmm. come on guys, you can't do that here. Yeah. Was it awesome? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. you know, but come on. <laughs> How can you get charged? Like, can you even go after the guy? You can't go after the guy. It's, it's gotta be committed in your presence. So what if he did this in his own driveway? Private property is completely different. Yeah, if he, we did a burnout yeah. in our parking lot, yes. whatever, yeah. it's just a it's noise your, complaint. Your, 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 yeah. <laughs> your, your area. So let's say that we don't have a cop that's as cool as you that knows cool stuff. What? What citations is this person getting? Reckless driving is like, yeah. so overall. I mean, I'm sure that bike isn't street legal. Exactly, signals, street no legal, you know. No. If they illegally block the roads, things of that nature. And that brings us to an infamous hill known as Baxter Street. It's the fifth steepest street in the United States and has lent itself to tons of stunts over the last few years. The next video led to a rare manhunt, but it was ultimately unsuccessful. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Stupid! I mean, look at the, the neighborhood he was in. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, I mean, such a narrow street, there's mm -hmm. other cars along the road. Yeah. Hitting someone's house isn't out of the question. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So if you were there seeing this happen, what are you citing this guy and what about all the spectators? Everything. So you're getting the spectators for spectating and the person for reckless, mm -hmm. the street takeover, mm -hmm. everything. Vandalism to the, the property that hit the fence, hit the parked car, yeah. hit and run. And if they're drinking, just don't be a part of it. And now, we have our final clip. And that clip is titled, This is what happens when you go to too many takeovers and it starts messing with your head. It's always Mustangs and <laughs> Mopars. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this looks like someone was like trying to do, obviously, donuts. Yes. And just like underestimated how hard it is to drive. What do you get charged for like hitting a parked car like that? <laughs> I mean, that's a civil thing. Yeah. Especially if it's in a private private parking lot like that. Really? Yeah. That's not a crime? No. All right, so let's book him. What's he getting? A, a stern talking to? <laughs> stern talking to. Scolding. <laughs> Okay, so we've learned a lot today about how dumb these people are and what they're getting charged with. Thank you, Dave, for your expertise. Thanks again, Andy, for coming out. 
Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We got plenty of more content just like this with real experts coming your way. Y'all have a good one.